feels uh, like a connection to the city, to another part, which is, which is right, because this is not a, an exterior concert hall like the Philharmonie or Disney Hall or something. It's part of the city because it's interior. This old building has history and has memories, and so there's something about that that appeals to me. I, I work intuitively, so I don't have a, a philosophy that can say, I, you've got to do this or that. I'm not that kind of thinker, but I am inspired by other art. And when I get involved, like I did with classical music, it became a, a very important part of my life. And long story short, um, I did some sketches. Daniel was at La Scala. He was having back problems. He was in pain. I brought him a model to show him an idea for the layout of the seating for the concert hall. And I must say it was very conventional. The, uh, the seating was on one side, the orchestra was on the other. And in his pain, he was looking at it and he seemed even more pained. And he said, Frank, what happened to that beautiful sketch you made? And I thought, I thought, I said, the, the ovals, you mean? And he said, yes. And I said, oh, I'm not sure they work and I'm sure this works. And he said, Frank, I want, I want the ovals, please, please, please. He was blind faith that there was something in a sketch, which, you know, artists recognize other artists sometimes that, in ways that we don't really understand. I went back, looked at the sketches, and made it work. The two ovals each have a, a axis that are separate, and the one above shifts slightly off the axis of the lower one to open the upper level to the bottom. The interior is very flexible. They can do a lot of things. Daniel can do piano recitals and lectures and uh, chamber music. And they like it, I like it. We build it. 